When we wake, hear the birds and see the sun. Side by side, our fears are done. All the good times just begun. Oh, we know what we have. Let's hold on tight. Found what we're looking for in life. Call us crazy, but things are finally right. With you and I, the future is bright. Grave Island, this time of year, is home to thousands of white cat knotty terns nesting in the Pisonian trees. Pisona trees are found throughout the islands of the Indian and Pacific Ocean. The species often dominates mature island vegetation, growing in dense thick strands up to 20 metres tall. With so many seabirds nesting on the island, it is very loud with bird noises and has a distinct smell of guano. Guano is bird poop. more common to see mama turtles nesting at night, but we were lucky enough to see this beautiful mama early in the afternoon. We were surprised to see her push her way in under this tree. Seems like time as a wave passing by leave a mark in our marks to turn the memories. River's gonna cry when you're gone, 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 gone. River's gonna cry when you're Gia's here. She's uh, getting into it now.
laid her eggs. She's covered in the eggs now. So we're just waiting any minute now. It's been a few hours and uh, she's going to make her way back down to the beach. Back out into the ocean. She's done. It had been two hours of watching this beautiful mummy laying her eggs and covering them back up when she decided to emerge back out towards the ocean. Unfortunately, our GoPro ran out of batteries, so we only got her just coming down the top of the shore. But we got some photos, and it was a beautiful moment to experience. <laughs> Look at our new addition to Catalpa. We met these really lovely people on the beach yesterday. See, and we're chatting, and then they're like, Do you want to take the jet ski? We're going to meet them over on the beach where we have a snorkel and a dive and hang out. But that was pretty cool, so. I don't know who's enjoying it more, Leo or the kids. <laughs> One of the really great things about this cruising lifestyle is meeting all the wonderful people that come along into your life. After a really awesome day, Bella and I got into our tender and headed out towards Catalpa. It was very low tide and we just made it across the reef. We assumed that the others were not far behind us, so we headed off, not even looking to see whether they were coming or made it over there. We um, left the island just on dark, and Bella and I got in our dinghy, and Taj and Daddy were on the jet ski, and the others were in their dinghy. Bella and I are back at Catalpa and it's 8 o'clock and we left just on dark so we're maybe 6.30. Um, the others have not come back. There's no lights on their boat so we're assuming they're not back at their boat. Uh, tender and see if we can go find them. So, fingers crossed they are somewhere and they're safe. We're going to take a torch and see if we can find them. Um, yeah. So we went in the dark on the tender, Bella and I, and we found them. Yay! Sorry, we took so long. Bella and I freaked out. We didn't know what to do. So I've just been rescued. Oh, it just, um, wow, what an afternoon. It started off a couple of Chardonnays on the shore with some friends we met. The tide was dropping out. So was the light. And uh, yeah, Sarah managed to just get away probably 10 minutes before us, and which was enough tide, and then we were stuck there. I'm so, sorry. <laughs> we had no way of communicating. So these friends that we met, one was freezing cold, she was wet, she had no warm clothes. We're on the island, Sarah's on the boat, no way to communicate. We're thinking, how is Sarah even gonna get back over here? I was freaking out. Um, so we've left a jet ski and a tender over there because we just can't get it to high and dry. I think it's just yeah, just an eye opener to how quick the situation can change. The 
tide drop, sun went, Sarah's gone. <laughs> Cold. Lucky Taj had a wetsuit on. I had a strobe light on my life jacket and I was playing SOS trying to get Sarah's attention and she was looking for us and I thought I actually had a little bit of SOS going and it wasn't until she was like 20 or 30 metres from the shore that she's like, here we are. So yeah, that didn't work. I thought it did, but yeah. Like, we, were, we had torches off but the anyway. back of the boat, but it was so dark and all we could see was the lighthouse and then we could spot out where the trawlers were in the back of the island and then... Um, we just thought, let's just jump in the boat and go and see if we can find them. So. Anyway, they're back on their boat, and I'm pretty sure they're happy to be on their boat. Um, we're back on ours, and uh, I'm yeah, just we're sorry we off. didn't get quicker. I was sitting there. I was so sure that you guys were okay, and you'd gone around the outside, or you'd gone. I don't know. I don't even know what I was thinking. But anyway, we went and got you eventually. <laughs> So we've got a little rescue mission in the morning, so we'll have enough tide there to We're go and pick early. up these guys and get this ski and uh, tender and uh, happy days hopefully. Other um, than that, we had a really fun day. Yeah, it was a good day, good afternoon, good company and yeah, we just got caught out. Yeah, and there we go. goes our new friends that we made, they're leaving. Bye guys. What do you got there, Belle Belle? Pancakes. Bella just made these pancakes all by herself for us for breakfast. You are a superstar. Our friends were going back home and they had this leftover ice cream. Now we're going to eat it for breakfast. <laughs> oh, there's only one problem with it. It's for who? Sarah. Sarah oh, it's got Lee. our name on it. Oh, oh that's special. Thanks, guys. Oh. That was so thoughtful. We haven't had ice cream for a while, have we? I think we're all gonna go crazy. Better eat it because my ice cream smells delicious. Is it good? You just dribbled out your mouth. Mm, our prawns with our prawns gave us. So our friends that we made yesterday, they left today, this morning, and they gave us a heap of food that they weren't gonna use, and we filled up our, some of our water and stocked up on things which is awesome so it was so good we have 800 liters on the boat and he said come and grab some of our water because we have 8,000 liters and a water maker <laughs> so i was like i oh, will come and grab some water we would definitely love to take you up on that offer but these prawns look amazing we're about to enjoy them for lunch in our next episode i get to surf the great barrier reef Lee finally catches his coral trout and Taj catches the fish of his lifetime. Oh, yeah. <laughs>